everyone, it is Arbor Course, and welcome back to another episode of Boom Beach. Today, we're back again, episode number two of day number five of the Boom Beach Challenge Week, in which we use the Zuka. Now, Zuka, let's actually go over what the troop is all about. In case you guys didn't know ever since the last update, the image or whatever the image of the Zuka has changed. She looks uh, more beautiful now, or... Yeah, doesn't matter. Um, she's called the Knockout Artist for long range attacks, calling the Zuka. A few Zukas can completely devastate a whole enemy base, which is totally true, but don't let them come under fire from enemy turrets, which is definitely true. The Zuka is considered to be the most fragile, uh, weakest, and strongest unit in the game which is quite uh, ironic I gotta say but she is the weakest because obviously she is extremely fragile but the strongest because she does a ton and I mean a ton of damage so it's gonna be pretty interesting to see how well we're gonna be doing with this attack combination let's actually go ahead and boost up a troop damage let's boost up the gunboat energy and then we're pretty much good to go how much uh, power powder do we got 18 I suppose we can also go for two more statues. The first one being the troop health. And the second one being resource war. Take a look at my gold. I need gold. So that's why I'm boosting it up. Uh, so yeah. Oh, operation ward. Oh, dang. We don't need gold. Well, it's already boosted up. So we might as well just, you know, go for it. Go with the flow. It's going to be a lot of fun. Let's see what we got today. So we uh, today, there's actually a lot of villages that appeared on the map. Because I did a whole cleanup session yesterday. So we've been doing pretty well. Let's see what we got on the map today. We got level 52 base over there. We got another 52 over there. So that's pretty interesting. Another 52. That's three in a row. Four in a row. Another 52. And then over here. Another 52. And then I saw a 61 over here. Pretty cool. I see a submarine spot. I need to drop my submarine. Level 51. A pretty low level guys over here. Oh, 61. <laughs> Talk about karma. 57. A chest, which is going to give me three diamonds. And then over here, another 51. A lot of 51s and 52s. And then like 57, 60. That's where it's at today. Do we find more? More chests. Over here, two diamonds. Not too bad. Not too shabby. Another one. This is going to give us two. No, three. Okay, that's all right. And then Ernest the Great. Another 57. Another 57. Another 50. Let's start off with the easy one. Level 50. Cannot do it. He's online. Let's go to the 50... 51? Yeah, 51. Here we go. Chinese guy. I think he's... Uh, I think his name isn't written in Chinese. Okay, now this is gonna be pretty interesting. We got stuff to take out here. For instance, the rocket launchers are gonna be extremely deadly. Uh, we're gonna be taking those out and then we should pretty much be good to go. Factors to take into consideration. Mortars for sure. Do we take it out? I don't think so. Oh man, I missed it. Uh, mortars located at the left which is cool so i don't need to worry about that what we need to worry about are machine gun shock launchers rocket launchers i'm gonna be shocking that section over there i'm very energetic right now i know this my commentary is very energetic that's not how i usually am but you know that's okay i don't mind shock that and uh we're gonna be oh they're really really slow i i keep forgetting about that let's drop a barrage over there like the sh the uh the shock is gonna be gone and then they're still not even there yet. So that is uh, takes a long time. Let's go for the shock launcher immediately. We need to wipe it out. Oh no, we're gonna be losing Suzukas to the flamethrower over there. Dropping the med kit, saving the day. Then getting that shock launcher over there as well. We're gonna be moving to the right side, guys. Girls. They're actually girls. Moving to the right side. Getting rid of the shock launcher right now. Dropping in a shock bomb over there. That section is doing pretty well. Getting some critters at the right side. Hopefully that boom cannon is going to be targeting on those instead of the uh, instead of the Zookas. And then we're going to be shocking that section over there um, to not lose anything. And then we're pretty much in, in the clear right now. Let's get the med kit in here. Get two med kits because the uh, sniper tower is hitting our Zookas pretty badly. And that way we're minimizing the damage. And as you guys can see, we took out the base. A very clean takedown. We lost a couple of Zookas on every single landing craft with the exception of one. We're doing pretty well. I'm probably talking your ears off your head right now. But, you know, that's how it is sometimes. Let's go. Going to the next base. Do we have a 52? Yes, we do. It's going to be pretty interesting later on. Because later on it's going to be harder. But for now, it should be pretty easy. I'm going to be doing a... Um, I, I was going to say... I was going to be doing a, uh, a shocky 
A shocky. A smoky Zuka attack, but I don't think I will. Actually, I will on this one, because he has a shock blaster. So a shock blaster is going to be a big, big issue. I'm going to be dropping a... Man. The mines are kind of screwy. Let's go all the way here. Get some critters over there. And then, if you guys are all, girls are all there. Stop, don't move. Stop it. Stop it. Let's go right there. I don't know what's happening right now. Oh man, I'm such... I'm such a fool. Let's do it again. That went that went wrong. That went totally wrong. The I should have shocked them, smoked them earlier, but I did not. So rebuilding those. Now these are expensive remakes. I'm gonna be careful here not to lose everything. Um Maybe I wanna be doing it a little bit differently. Maybe I want to be going from the left side, taking stuff down that way. But the, the issue that we're going to be facing are these flamethrowers over there. So I suppose we have medkits to kind of counter that, which, you know, is kind of reassuring in a way. But we're going to try regardless. We're going to be wiping out that flamethrower over there. And then I can drop one shock over there. We need to take care of you. That shock launch over there. I'm gonna be getting some damage from uh, rocket launchers, so we'll just take out the rocket launchers with an artillery. Um, we'll just mat use a medkit for those. So that is a way of doing that. Um, for this, I wanna be going at the corner, at the left top corner. So, getting the Zookas in there right now. Getting some critters. Okay, you guys are made it, have made it up there. Girls, you girls have made it up there. Let's move. Start to make the move right now. Are you still in the smoke? I am worried that we might be getting exposed for a split second, which we don't, which is actually really great. Let's move to the side here. And then two smokes. To hopefully cover up. No! Oh, no, no, no. That is possibly the worst position I could have been in. But you know what? It is alright. Okay, that's all we can do. Let's take out the headquarters. If you oh my god! So much damage! Holy, holy cow! Two hits! Well, we took it out. <laughs> that is insane! Oh my. Oh man. I'm, I'm caught off guard there. Two hits? Whoa, that is, that is sick. I love this. That is so powerful though. It's expensive to do if you do it wrong like I did. Let's go for a different base. Let's go for a higher level. Let's go for a 57. Right here, this guy. It's level 57. He does have a lot of gold. Um, I'm gonna re refresh him because he doesn't have a lot of gold. I want some more gold. Level 54, that's also an increase in level here. Uh, now this guy, that looks more like it. Um, well, this is pretty interesting. Okay, so... I I already see the walking path immediately. It's, it's a very straightforward one. Just before the mine, you can walk all the way to in front of here. Which we're gonna be doing. Is he, no, he's not online. That is, that's fantastic. Awesome. Okay, let's go ahead and do this. Um, we're gonna be walking right here. All units. I'm gonna be getting the uh, critters in here. Getting those Zookas over there. Zookas, get in position. Right there. Nice. You made your way up there, so now it's time to advance on to the destination. Alright, so far it looks good to me. One more after this. Goes right here. Take it, take it. Ooh, nice. Nice. We did it. Nice. We made it up there. Now, this is the tricky part. We gotta be shocking the right buildings. So. Do we got it? Do we got it? 
Yes, yes, we do. Boom! Not a chance. Can we take on every single base with this tactic? Because this went pretty smooth. I mean, sure, we lost a couple of Zukas on landing crafts. We got a prototype defense, module, complex gear. But this is really awesome. This attack strategy is so legit. It's even real. It is not that quite as powerful as, as, as heavy uh, smoky hookah. But it's still quite powerful. Let's go for a, a 62 maybe. I, th I think I have a 62 on the map. I have, I have some 61s. That's what I know. Okay, I have a 61 over here. Let's see what we can do against this guy. Oh, the mine spreading is just a little bit overkill here. There's too many mines here. We cannot do that. Let's refresh. Another 60? 54 now. Where's the other 61? Right here. Yes! This is gonna be the one. Now this is perfect. There's no mines in between here. Now that's perfect. That's awesome. Um... The walking path on this one is actually really, really easy. You just go through the buildings. Wow, that is so cool. Let's do it, guys. Let's let's go. Uh, let's go with the flow. Take this one out and and go for the kill here. I do gotta be dropping an artillery here and and one over here to take care of that. But that's all there is to it. Okay. Oh, why did I, why did I uh, drop critters there? I have no idea why I did that. We lost two Zookas by doing that. But, you know, we're going to be getting those back. I don't know why I did. I'm a little bit nervous. I'm a little bit nervous, guys, if you cannot tell. I just said it twice, so that must mean that I'm nervous, right? <laughs> I'm having a nervous breakdown from talking twice. Anyway, um, we are going to be walking right here. Getting all of the units right now in location. Okay. Oh, that is awesome. Look at this. This is really great. Oh, nice. We made it, guys. We made it. Okay, let's go. Let's walk, guys. Let's, let's advance. Let's advance onto where we need to be. Smokes. You guys, you girls are walking magnificently. Look at this. Look at this. This is just pure art. This is just... This is just... Awesome. I don't know. I don't even know what I'm saying. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Now does it? It does not matter at all. Now I gotta be shocking this section for sure. And that section over there. Do we take it out one more? And bamboozled. It got taken out. A level 61. Smoky Zuka for the win. There we go. Nice. Now, taking on the base like this feels really rewarding because you, sp uh, especially with this troop combination, you spend so much hard work, time and effort into walking them and guiding them to the, to the right location that whenever you take them down, it is such a feeling of relief just taking them down, you know, that's really, really awesome. I love it. Okay, now let's go for another random base, level 54 over here, Mr. I don't know. Let's see. So you do have some mines over here in the middle. And it might be a little bit hard to reach this. I am still up for the challenge though. So I'm willing to give this one a try. It's just... We cannot possibly... Can we? Now this is going to be pretty rough. The mine spreading. I want to be going for some... Let's go for the next one. Regardless of what the next one is, we're going to be going for it. Ernest the Great. We're going to be going for this one. Just so happens to be an easy pace. Wow. That's just lucky. Okay. Um, we can do this though. Let's get rid of this golden storage. Because that is a perfect walking path for gathering up the Zookas there in that location. And then we need to wipe out this artillery. These, these mines over here. And this flamethrower over there. That flamethrower is going to be doing a ton of damage on our Zookas. And we can actually spare the artillery. We can actually drop those there because um, because we we don't need to walk that far to the back of the base. So what we're going to be doing here is we're going to be walking right here, right? 
And we're gonna gather everybody around to do so. One smoke. And then the second smoke should be perfect. It should be in the most ideal location there is. We are gonna be getting hit by mines and such, but that is that is fine, believe me. I have this. I got this. I'm getting really hyped up right now. Let's do this. Let's own it up. Let's walk past the mine and don't care for it. Well, okay, care a little bit. And then let's shoot on the headquarters. Take out whatever it is we need to take out, which is everything. And then go for the kill. Boom. And boom. <laughs> nice. We took out the base that I randomly challenged myself to try to take out. That is just really awesome. I love it. Smokey Zuka, guys. Smokey Zuka for the win. And I hope that you guys like this attack combination. I really do like it. Let's go for another base. I'm actually feeling this. Let's actually refresh this guy. He didn't have a lot of gold. Let's go for this 54. Totally at random. Got no idea what to expect. We got a... Uh, oh, interesting base. This is actually a cool base to try to take down here. The only issue that I have are the mines that we're seeing. But other than that... It should be pretty cool. Let's get some critters in there. Shock that. Look at that. We're going to be taking out that rocket launcher there. That is just as expensive as to doing this. Really. Because we got them critters in there. And the critters are even going to be giving us some more gumbo energy. Which is awesome. So they gave us 6 gumbo energy. And we spent 8 plus 13. That is 23. Is it? I don't know. I don't know. No, 21. What am I saying? I'm just rambling. Okay, um... So, now, what is up next? We took out both rocket launchers. Let's go for this shock launcher over here. Now, mortars are gonna be really deadly in this particular scenario. So, we definitely gotta be saving up to take those out. Um... Oh, one, two, didn't work. We need three. There we go. Okay, we got it. Now, what we gotta be doing here is we gotta be walking all the way here. And then shock. No! Oh, they don't do a whole lot, but they still do quite a bit. Well, that didn't make any sense, but it doesn't. Oh, heal up, heal up! Oh, that's a little bit too close, in my opinion. Boom, boom, boom. Take everything down. Including you, Mr. Boom Cannon. We need to save up for Barrage here. That's what I feel. Like, what we should do. Okay, let's go to the back of the base, girls. Let's go to the back of the base. Let's take out a Mortar. I, I, I feel that we can take out this base. Look at that. We took out the Mortar. So, we're doing really well. I mean, the only thing that's really hitting us is just a simple Boom Cannon. Getting some critters in there because it's going to be taking out those buildings very efficiently. And critters with Zookas work great because cannons and everything, they just don't do anything much of anything. Really. So let's go to the back of the base. We took out every single cannon in here. It is just this annoying mortar right now that potentially can cause us defeat. So we need to get some critters in there. No. Oh, wait, wait. We might be in big, big trouble here. Oh, they don't... It doesn't take out my Zookas in one hit. We got the win here, guys. We got the win. Uh, we took out the, the Mortis if it wasn't even there. What? There we go. Took out the base. We took out two bases uh, with just a regular attack. And then we took out the other bases with the smoky Zooka attack. It's actually a pretty diverse combination. It's just... It's gonna be... Um, you're gonna be getting a lot of casualties, but it's a very, very efficient attack strategy. Um, try with, with, with like one heavy or something for yourself and then add up like another one and then add up another one. Then you're going to be getting yourself a really de devastating and killer combo. But yeah, that's gonna be doing it for this episode of Boom Beach. I hope that you guys enjoyed this base takedown. Uh, it was definitely really... F I don't know why, just recharge them. Why... Why did I do that? Anyway, 
I'm going to be wrapping this episode off here. I just want to thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, make sure that if you guys like this video too, boom, give it a thumbs up. And that being said, this has been Reverse for Boom Beach. I'm going to be signing off and I'll see you guys in the next one.